Meghan says Lilibet name proves bond between Harry and his grandmother. Queen Elizabeth was a sort of stepmother for both Harry and William after the 1997 death of their mother, Princess Diana. The name Prince Harry and Meghan Markle chose for their firstborn daughter is as powerful as it is personal. To her father especially, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor's name reflects the unbreakable bond Harry feels with the two women, who have made the strongest mark in modern royal history. His late mother, Princess Diana, and, of course, his beloved grandmother, Queen Elizabeth. The name also signifies the closeness that endures between Harry and the Queen even amid the ongoing tensions Harry has addressed with the firm and the institution. As he has labelled his family's complicated dynamic in reconciling their personal relationships with their roles as public figures. The remarkable bond between Harry and his grandmother has been a critical, royal historian Robert Lacey tells the story. After the 1997 death of Princess Diana, the Queen was a sort of stepmother for both Harry and William, says Lacey. We have all focused on her coaching of William as the future king, but we are realizing now the importance of the emotional bonds that she's been able to establish with Harry and their ability to talk to each other directly. That affection remains. During a conversation with their queen, Harry shared their hope of naming their daughter Lilibet in her honor. A spokesperson for the couple tells. Had she not been supportive, they would not have used the name. Queen Elizabeth was also among the first to meet baby Lily. A source tells. That the queen joined the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on a video call. As soon as they returned home from Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital, not far from the family's home in Montecito, California. Because they were very excited and couldn't wait to share that their daughter arrived. And just like her older brother Archie, Lily will come to know not only her extended royal family, but also their rich legacy and that of the immeasurably important great-grandmother after whom she is named. To be compared to their queen, the most successful female monarch in British history, is a great weight says Lacey. It will be one of the first things that will be explained to her when she's old enough. They prepared Archie by talking a lot about the baby, a source tells. Meghan and Prince Harry's daughter has arrived, and Archie couldn't be more excited for his new role as big brother. With Lilibet Diana's birth on the 4th of June, Archie is very happy to have a little sister, a spokesperson for the couple tells. They prepared Archie by talking a lot about the baby. He is too little to understand though, a sources. He is big enough though that he is now starting to have his own life too. He enjoys preschool and outdoor activities. He will have a fun summer. The source continues, Meghan and Harry are also taking time off to focus on their family. Archie will likely call his sister by the nickname Lily, like his parents. The moniker has a sweet tie to Meghan's mom Doria Ragland, who lovingly gave Meghan the childhood nickname Flower. In a blog post on her now defunct lifestyle site, the Tig, the Duchess of Sussex shared her nicknames, writing, Meg, M.M., M and M, and Flower which my mom has called me since I was little. Archie, who turned two last month, was at the center of Prince Harry and Meghan's baby announcement earlier this year. We can confirm that Archie is going to be a big brother. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are overjoyed to be expecting their second child a spokesperson for the couple told on Valentine's Day. Archie also appeared in a black and white snap from the couple's maternity photo shoot. As he was held in Meghan's arms with his face pressed into Harry's chest. Archie will soon be showing his little sister all of his favorite ways to spend time in California. From walks on the beach to playing with the family's two dogs, who are Archie's best friends. To have outdoor space where I can go for walks with Archie and we go for walks as a family and with the dogs. You know, we go on hikes or go down to the beach, which is so close. Harry told Oprah Winfrey during their interview, which aired in March, about family life in Montecito. The highlight for me is sticking him on the back of the bicycle in his little baby seat. And taking him on bike rides is something which I never was able to do when I was young. I can see him on the back and he's got his arms out, chatting, palm tree house Queen Elizabeth's grandson recoiled. Meghan and Harry took to their Archival Foundation website to share a personal message upon sharing news of Lily's arrival. On the 4th of June, we were blessed with the arrival of our daughter, Lily. She is more than we could have ever imagined. And we remain grateful for the love and prayers we've felt from across the globe. 
Thank you for your continued kindness and support during this very special time for our family. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.